place where people go to be healed and helped. And instead, for Sierra Hadrick, it was where she died. Now at six, a deadly delivery. Prosecutors say this man delivered a lethal dose of drugs to a patient at a Montgomery County hospital. Officials say the same man visited the hospital five times before that woman overdosed. Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Yuki, Washington. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff is live in East Norriton now with more on this investigation. Henry. Jessica and Natasha, the DA says Travis Suda came and went from this hospital in early May. He was a known drug dealer and he's now charged with providing the drugs that killed one of the patients. And the DA didn't mince words. He says he's going to use this legal tactic to go after more drug dealers. She died from the poison that he delivered to her right to her in her hospital room. Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin Steele says surveillance images show Travis Suda moving in and out of Einstein Medical Center to sell different drugs to Sierra Hadrick five times in five days. Two bags of heroin for $20. One bag of heroin, $10. Ativan pills to Sierra for $10. More Ativan and one bag of heroin for $10. Instead of delivering heroin, Suda delivered what we later learned was pure fentanyl, 40 to 50 times more deadly than the deadly drug heroin. And by delivering this poison, Travis Suda killed Sierra. Steele says Suda is now the fourth person charged this year in Montgomery County with drug delivery resulting in death. He says it's a charge we should get used to seeing, especially with more and more opioid-based fentanyl on the streets. This is really deadly stuff. So. So we're looking at these cases, and it's a lot easier for a toxicologist and a forensic pathologist to look at these cases and say, fentanyl, that was the cause of death. I asked, and a spokesman for Einstein told me the hospital is reevaluating its visitor policy in light of what happened in this case. Live in East Norton, Henry Rossoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Henry, thank you so much.